Hello, I am Dr. Suya Srivastava, JR3 Radiology. I am going to present a case series on MRI and X-ray evaluation of osteonecrosis of femoral head. I have done this series under guidance of Dr. Ashutosh Chitnas, Professor and HOD, and Dr. Gayatri Patil, Associate Professor, Department of Radiology, MGM Medical College and Hospital, Navi Mumbai. Now, osteonecrosis of the femoral head, previously known as avascular necrosis of the hip, is the most common site for osteonecrosis, presumably due to a combination of precarious blood supply and high loading when standing. The clinical presentation is pain in the region of the affected hip, thigh, groin, and buttock. Now, the aim and objectives were to study the findings of MRI and X-ray of osteonecrosis of bilateral femoral heads. MRI and X-ray PVH was performed in 30 patients referred to the Department of Radiology, MGM Medical College and Hospital, Nami Mumbai, in a period of one year with clinical suspicion of osteonecrosis of femoral head. Now in this first case, who is a 38 year old male presented with bilateral hip pain more pronounced on the right side. We can see that there is right hip joint reduction. There is irregularity of the femoral head and there is subchondral patchy sclerosis. Some degree of osteopenia is seen. Left side appears unremarkable. On the MRI images, on the axial T1, coronal T2 and stern coronal image, we can see that there are well-defined geographic areas of altered signal intensity involving the anterior superior portion of the right femoral head, which is seen as hyper intense with hyper intense rim on T1 and T2 weighted images. Now we can also see T2 and star hyper intense signal edema involving bilateral femoral heads and femoral neck on the right side. The rest of the bones appear normal, the rest of the joint space and articular margins appear normal. These findings are suggestive of avascular necrosis of the femoral heads, R right side it is stage 2 of Fickert Arlet classification and on left side it is stage 1, which appeared unremarkable on the X-ray. Now on the second case, who is a 68 year old male presented with bilateral hip pain, we can see that there is mild bilateral hip joint space reduction. The articular margins are irregular and there is subchondral patchy sclerosis. There is some degree of osteopenia also present. On the subsequent MR images, coronal T1, T2 and star images, we can see well-defined geographic areas of altered signal intensity involving the anterior superior portions of the bilateral femoral heads, which are seen as hyper-intense with hypo-intense rim on T1 and T2 weighted Im images. However, if we look closely, the overlying cortex is appear appearing intact. So no obvious crescent sign is seen. We can see T2 and star hyper-intense marrow edema involving bilateral femoral heads and neck. There is around 30 to 40 percent of the involvement of bilateral femoral capital articular surfaces mild hip joint diffusion is seen. So these findings are suggestive of stage 2 of picket arlet classification bilaterally. Now in the third case who is a 43 year old female presented with bilateral hip pain we can see on the x-ray images that there is bilateral hip space reduction and Articular margins are irregular and there are ill-defined mixed sclerotic and lytic areas involving bilateral femoral heads. Additional cortical collapse is seen on the superior aspect of the femoral head on the right side with a area of leucency which is parallel to the articular surface, this leucency. 
this refers to the crescent sign on the subsequent mr images we can see on the axial t1 coronal and third t2 images we can see geographically scattered areas of serpiginous heterogeneous t1 t2 and star signal intensity involving the anterior superior portions of the bilateral femoral heads now there is around 50 to 60% involvement of the bilateral femoral capital articular surface and there is flattening of the bilateral femoral heads which is more pronounced on the left side or we can see that there is a subchondral crescent seen on the right side mild hip joint effusion is seen um so these findings are suggestive of avascular necrosis of bilateral femoral heads which is classified into stage 3 of fikatalde classification now in the fourth case who is a 55 year old male presented with bilateral hip pain on the x ray images we can see that there is bilaterally reduced joint space with remodeled femoral heads and there are areas of sclerosis and lysis present on both the femoral heads there is partial collapse of the femoral heads which is more pronounced on the left side with loss of sphericity and on the subsequent mr images we can see well defined geographic areas of altered signal intensity involving the bilateral femoral heads bilateral acetabuli and proximal shaft of bilateral femurs with collapse and flattening and loss of contour of the left femoral head we can see some osteophytes on the left side and on right side as well so these findings are classified into stage 4 of fikert arlet classification in summary i have correlated the x ray patterns of avian with mr images in 30 patients 80% radiographic manifestations parallel the mri findings with areas of sclerosis on plain films seen as areas of hyperintensity on mri and areas of radiolucency seen as hyperintensity although with stage 1 the patient has an abnormal mri but radiographs appear normal it is reasonable to postulate that the mri patterns detected in avian reflect the different chronological stages of the disease and it correlates with the extra patterns except in stage 1 mri often demonstrates extensive changes while the conventional radiographs may not demonstrate them this reflects the ability of mri to detect the changes before a measurable extra change occurs these are the references thank you